Okay, so I'm going to start us off here. Um, first off, for the people watching YouTube, because there's no one on the Twitch yet, this video will be focusing on 3v3 matches, as well as going over a little bit of recruitment. The update, the information that they released about the update that's being released on August 11th, and if you want to skip any of this talk and just want to see some action, don't forget that there are actually timestamps in the description, either below or wherever they have it now, whenever you're watching this, that will skip immediately to the matches that are in this video. And just to go over what happened since, because I did play uh, an hour and a half, I think since the last time I streamed, just to do a few things that I didn't really want to stream. Um, I went and completed the kill 200 monsters with the paladin. And because of that, unlocked the sixth talent slot. So I was allowed, able to get the master freezer, which I've been working on for quite a while to get, which will allow me to use icy beam now a lot more in PvP battles. We'll see how that turns out. I think that'll be a good addition. As well as, it's frustrating, but when I did that 200 minions, or kill 200 creatures, I also unlocked a paladin amulet. Which I don't use paladins. And I can't sell it. I can disassemble it. But I think I'll keep it for now. But I get the feeling that if I had have been my crow, I would have gotten the crow amulet. I have no idea if amulets can be acquired from PvP. But we'll see. So I unlocked the first amulet slot. So that's roughly around 3,400, 3,200 prestige. Still have no idea what trophies are. Actually, no. We have a just idea, but I have none. As well as... It's not very exciting because, as I said in the earlier episodes, I'm not really focusing on the Order anymore, except for the Engineers, now that I know they have something to do with the Pantheon. I unlocked a fourth territory. So I went through a little bit of a quest line with that. So... Going on the site today, I did notice, and I'll just switch it over to the browser, which apparently doesn't work actually. Oh right, I think I tried to do this before. Add window, window, okay. Well that didn't work at all. Nonetheless, I'll just leave it like that. So just to go over the update that they released actually on the site today, there's a big update coming on August 11th. And with the information they released today, it kind of showed that they're going to be doing a lot of work regarding Pantheons, including decreasing the cost of buildings to allow for smaller Pantheons to get to endgame content. As you can see, we also have a newer, refreshed landing page or information page that will also give us a Pantheon rating, which is separate for PvP and PvE ratings, as well as displaying the number of players involved in that Pantheon. A little bit more... Ocean, your rice! Which gives us a little bit more information, as well as PvP rating. I'm kind of excited about that one to see how they worked that. Other than that, here's just a little preview as well of the types of bonuses that you can get for being in a Pantheon, either cold resistant, cold resistance, radiation resistance. I actually had no idea that you could get resistances on these, so this is actually new to me. As well as, sorry, I forgot about this, but you will also be able to gain the construction points and store them in order to, like rather than only being able to get the construction points when you're in the process of building something, you'll be able to store them for future construction projects. With that, I realize, I'm just going to start the queue here actually for the first PvP battle, I'm not even in the right area. With that, I've been thinking of the necessary things that I need to work on myself to make sure that these videos are as informative and entertaining as possible. And the main thing I'm coming across 
is the fact that I need to memorize abilities. Not just my own, not just the names of my own, but the abilities of the main class, the main classes that I'm fighting with, including the Paladin and the Lightbringer initially, as well as the main ones I've been seeing elsewhere, is the Alchemist, occasionally the Kinetic. Not so much the Berserker, but I will be memorizing the Berserker later on. Getting a little bit of lag, but something tells me it's just the sheer amount of people that are involved right now. I'll be right back. Oh, you didn't put a timer on or anything. So we're actually up against... And that's the other class I keep forgetting about, is because I don't actually even know its name. I think it's Slayer. Um... Okay, our second ability, which it, I'm not even sure how to actually get it to tell me its name. What are you doing going in a fighting in like that? Oh. That. I keep forgetting about something, is the fact that I can actually use the... Where are you? I can actually use the bonus damage on my right click ability when other people have frozen them. So with there being another Karamancer on the team who used his final ability on the first stage, an interesting decision. I mean it worked out incredibly, I won't deny that, but I get the feeling we would have won that round anyways with how it was going. Oh dear. That's probably what happened last time with the other character. So something about the Slayer gives him the ability to pull me towards them. And the emphasis now on only having... Yep. Two, one. Okay. There's the stealth. The round is over. It's interesting because even though I've faced a few of those before, I've never seen them actually use the stealth. If I get pulled into them though like that, again, I get the feeling that's a perfect opportunity actually to use one. was a waste of that ability. That... I'm not sure quite what's happening. I'm getting hit with the area of effect. I'm not sure what quite's happening with those. Okay. And he's stealthed again. There's two of them actually in this area. There he is. He's gone again. It's not so much actually that they stealth, but that you can't actually target them while they're stealth. There's one. There's two. Double strike. Now it's your turn. Well, I don't have anything that I can 
that was oh no I used my R ability there I'm supposed to use four that's League of Legends League of Legends is the um I don't have it on the right screen why wasn't I even seeing anything there we go because there's no one here I'll put that at the beginning as a note. They're actually slightly tanky. And I get the feeling the main people that are doing anything in this match isn't actually me. You actually had to heal. And I don't have... There we go. Except that didn't hit anyone. Only one left? But they're gone anyways. There you are. Both of these guys are at 3,900 prestige. Not the best idea on our part. I think we're getting a little bit... Shoot. A little bit cocky with splitting up left and right. One of the main tactics I've been seeing is pulling me into the area of effect that those two set up. Actually, no. With all three of them actually setting up the area of effect and pulling them into it, it's a pretty good strategy. As well as this... Really interesting facing the two of them. Because one will disappear and the other will appear with almost no health. No! That was quick. Jeez. A low amount of assists. Probably due to my one target um, habit. Next round I'm going to do, I'm going to focus really heavily on getting... I couldn't have really on that round because it went so fast. But I need to really focus on getting the damage and health bonuses up at the top two left and right corners. I don't have much use for coins. So the reward of that match was kind of... Meh. As well as getting the six thoughts here would be nice. But 90,000, especially when that can go quite a bit to help me in the Pantheon with the... Upgrading the conference hall. Oh, never mind. I'll figure that out later. Because with having this now at level 1, I can now see what the scale is like for upgrading the amount of pantheons that you're allowed to have. Mm. Amount of clans you can have in a pantheon. I can take down this guy's name. What is that, high tower?
Okay. Three cryos versus one. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Okay, I took the shield down on him, but there isn't much point in that. We need to get the area of effect up and get out of there, because I'm already lower than anyone else in the enemy team. Using one was useless there, and I can't focus on the people that have shields up. Yeah, I definitely need to get out there and focus on the use of getting the double damage. I'm not even going to get a chance. <laughs> Round two. They're going to come from the... our left side. You're the Lightbringer. So we can actually focus you. So you've still got one hell of a shield. Five, four... E, you're down. One of us is down. Your shield is down, but I'm now being targeted by the Pantheon. Or by the Paladin. Freeze the Paladin. Not for long enough that. Need to get out of there. You jumped over to the other side. Can't do anything here, so I need you to come closer. Where are you gonna go? You're down to 3,000 health. I can get you. And get my health back. If I jump over here, I can use one to freeze, right click to take him down that, and jump off the end again. be a sacrifice for him and win. That was... Damn. They're gonna focus one at a time, but now that we have a paladin... We can set up the area of effects, and I'm gonna try to take up. No, don't stun me after that. Come on, let me. There we go. That two times damage is unstoppable. That's a fair amount of shield that they have on that one though. And unless I seriously help here, that person is going to die. Nope. They have two paladins now. Oh! Well, the Lightbringer switched? Because I thought I killed the pal- yeah, I did. Oh, who was that one? I was facing a Lightbringer up there? Good luck. Damn. I don't know how close it was. From the looks of it, they have one on their team that doesn't belong. No, they all belong. You're being ignored. Two v one up here, which means it's two v one. Oh, 
I got low health and I don't know when that happened. Damage orbs have spawned. If you come down to this bottom one, I won't be able to take you on. I can hit you from here though. I didn't see him enter the circle there, but I guess it doesn't matter. He got me. Who is it? Rose? My pen doesn't work. Another thing I need to work on before I get good at PvP. Making, getting pens that work. Actually, no. I think that's just me not having control over my life. We won. So I'm going to keep a very close eye on... You think they can remove the six or seven second... Now they have two paladins. Six or seven second timer where you're invincible in PvP matches. I think that's kind of pointless. We need to get the Lightbringer. Now the other two are in the game. Lightbringer is down. Our other Chromancer is very low and is going to take the time to both come up here. Bonus is going to be health or damage, health or damage. Health. That's alright. You're down. I need to help this paladin focus this guy. I'm going to be focused on the side. Both of them here are... One avoided the stun. Which is frustrating because I don't get to use that very often. If I can get you... There we go. There's my opportunity. You just got double damage, didn't you? No, I need to use this to get... No, there we go. There's the health up there. Mongo doesn't know it. Because they hide it behind the pillar. Yeah, I think he's good, but I don't think he can go 2v1 like that. just to warn them. If we actually do our battle... Okay, I got majorly targeted here. And I missed them with one. Now our guy's up here.
Oh! A ranged ability used by paladins is one I don't know about yet. Here's an interesting thing about it as well. Damage orbs have spawned. Plural, but not necessarily meaning plural, because only one actually spawned. So an interesting little thing about that is that you can't even assume that there's going to be a damage orb at the one you spawn at, or at the one you jump to. A 50-50 chance. I want to see how many seconds in one up there if we can split up he's gonna come after me I need to get up here use that to freeze him hit him with no only one Damn, they're both down there. He got the health orb and that guy just appeared behind us. We both focused on him, but with there being two paladins, we can't actually not target the paladins. He got a shield up. And I just got ambushed. Healing orb spawned. Need to get to the other one. One of our guys is dead. He's done. You're going to target me and now I'm going to be targeted up here. I'm going to quickly use that to stun him and get to the other one in order to get the two times damage. Which will give me enough damage to freeze him and take him out. Nope. Because my right click ability never actually went off. The round is over. I thought it was so well thought out. Oh. I got two names, in which I'm going to invite both of them, at least to the Pantheon. <laughs> Order community. I'm sorry, but the handshaking, that seems so much more like community compared to market. Invite Mongo Hightower and invite Rose Caitlin to the Pantheon. Okay, beg. Activate 2000 credits and a few other things. The other one, beg. Valuables, Sparks of Evolution, yeah, sounds about right. So I'm gonna also be searching for strength and luck. Strength and Spirit is nice, but I already have the full batch. And someone emphasized the other day the importance of having all of your rings be only two specific types. Not sure why yet, to be honest. I was yet to read that far. But 
for now, I'm gonna focus. What do you give me? I'll upgrade you for now. For now, I need to focus on upgrading my rings, gathering the other type of ring in order to have some more interesting streams later on. Let's get in the next queue. And I just don't have enough. 199, I need 200. Oh, 215, never mind. And here. Okay. I actually have enough to get that talent too. It would have been nice to try out. Unless it's 250. Okay. Both of my teammates don't have pantheons. Oh, I'm actually finding a Berserker now. Okay, that was a little bit too... I didn't need to use my R there at all. <laughs> that was a little bit chaotic on my part. You have a healing ability, too. Freeze. Right click. Again. No! Well played, but... I'm not sure how to say to my team. No, it's group. Still nothing. Mongo is the weakest there. And it was a bad idea for the Zerka to be splitting up with his team like that. Because you're still all the way over there having a fight with someone. I'm gonna freeze you, hit you with that. You're now in your whatever dead state it is that you're in. There's the Zerk. I need something that I can use. Okay, I've got it now. If I can freeze on two, there we go. And easy life. Three people that I'm going to invite at the end of this round. Easy life is a good player. He's at least far enough to, judging from the fact that he is Zerker. <clears throat> Damn, that's a far jump. I'm getting out of there. I need my two. He's got a shield though. He 
followed her out there. There we go. One. But the area of effect didn't work on him for long. Hey there! There's the Zerk. Okay, so Zerg versus Paladin. I've done my part. But I don't think the Paladin stands much of a chance versus that. Yep, there we go. A Zerg is one hell of a thing to be scared of. There's no ice anymore. Mongo switched to Paladin, which means Necro first. Hit you with the damage over time. This brings you to your whatever state that is. Need to hit the Zerk. We've got the health bonuses here. Damn, what's going on? Now I need to boost in the side. Wow! Once that Berserker can combo you, I think the only chance we really actually have is the bonuses. The damage orb spawned. The Berserker isn't going to get it. And with that, Oh shoot. I can't go up on that alone. No, actually, I can't go up against that period. Doesn't matter if I'm alone or not. But I got the initial guess wrong. was a really good play on the on Mongo's part to switch from a crow to a paladin. Because with just the Zerker and the two squishies, we couldn't really take that. Or we could take that kinda. But with the balance team like that. Health spawned up there. And he can jump up here? Oh! 2,800 damage in one attack. Okay, their necromancer's down. The zerker's down, and we still have two alive. 
with their paladin being the only one, I don't think they can stand up to two. Got a two times damage right behind you, Cairo. It's just over there. You can go get it, you know. The quiet, unless. Okay, we're done the warm up. Let's kick some ass. Okay. We need to delay until I get the two times damage. Second seconds until bonus spawns. This one? Please be damage. Damage orb spawned. The other one. Damn. He got it. Just because you have no shield up, I'm gonna hit you with that. Escape back up to the top point. You're overextending like mad. bad at all. The is over. I can do 1827 damage with just the impulse and the two time damage. If I can get the two times damage, hit them with two or any kind of freeze and use the impulse, and they're really looking at 70% of their health right there as long as they're not a paladin, which they are. Again, delay. Ten seconds till the bonus. Health. I shouldn't have gotten that. Hit the paladin while he's got no shield up. It was probably actually a bad idea, considering they don't seem to be doing too good now. But shoot. And I hit the minion with the wrong thing. 10 seconds till bonus spawns. I'm slowed damage orb spawned. I got the right. No, don't leave. I got the right side. Okay. Two times damage for 13 seconds. Three. Two. Use one. That wasn't the Zerker. That was. Oh. That was the pally. Still not a bad match. Close, and I like how I improved on getting the damage orbs. Three, three matches are going... The Q's nothing right now. I don't mind this at all. I was thinking when I first started and hear the main complaint about PvP is the Q times, but... And I can see it the first few videos, Q times did take like five minutes. But not now. Okay. Let's get these guys invited first. You two, Mongo High Tower. You need to be switched to clan. Three. Who was talking to me earlier? What time are Thwart kill? You're already. Yep. Yeah. You're already Clan Two. I'm gonna switch you to a commander for now. Really, it takes a vote. 
That takes three votes. Oh, no. Okay. Then, Saxophone Jackson, switch you to Clan 3. And you to Clan 3. Just to get you guys out of the way for now. Community, I want to invite Takeda Oda. Easy life. And IDR Geo Vanalai. Think. Oh, fair enough, because. Yeah, it's maximum of four. And I need the vote to get him moved. You two joined already? But I'm still voting to move the one guy over. So I'm gonna switch Easy Life to be the commander of Clan 4. And I guess switch you to be a clan member of 4 as well. We'll build that. <laughs> Glitch to the top right corner here. You can't really see it in the video, but it's trying to overlap the Sparks of Evolution with the Pantheon credits. It's not too good. Last thing I wanted to see. Conference Hall, what does it take? 45,000? It's not much at all. Same amount, I believe, as upgrading... No, a little bit less than upgrading the gallery. But... I think that'll be worth it. 15, 30, 45... I need to donate 35,000 credits. How do I do that again? Here. Into there. So that we can upgrade this. Now, onto my own things. Open the bag. Ooh, health bonus now. Put aside the strength and luck. And disassemble the rest. Combine. Can't get that yet. And get this. Element of surprise. The first eight seconds of a fight, damage dealt is increased by 12% for every level. Oh, I think I know the difference. No, never mind. Still have no idea. Let's get that symbol going and. There you have it. We have three symbols now. That's going to take a lot of enhancement stones. And we've got two out of four of the strength and luck. It's Q. <laughs> that took no time at all. <laughs> so the thing I'm going to do after this stream is I'm going to go out on my own and try to get something for the... What's it called again? 
Get an amulet for the Chromancer. Also, the style is only temporary. You gotta change it up every once in a while. Have some fun. How's the order doing? Do I have any guys that aren't doing anything? Two are resting. That should be fine. Oh, and for those of you that are really keeping up, I mentioned a little while ago that I have something special in the works. It came on a little bit more today. Still haven't finalized it yet. But I'm excited to reveal to you guys what it will be. Oh, what are we doing here? Okay, two Chromancers, Paladin versus two Archers and a Paladin. Let's see how you like my range. Why didn't right click oh, activate there? Because I got stunned. Am I? Can I move, please? Oh, that's an archer thing. You are mine. Where was I attacking? I locked on him. Okay, I can't take this. One of their archers is down. One of ours used the their final the ability. And that was quick. Okay, what's your name? Xeno? Sia? Quarta. And why are you floating? Hit that archer for everything we've got. We've got some stun abilities. Okay, Paladin, I don't like your tone. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, no. A little discussion in the Pantheon, apparently easy life. No wonder he was doing good. Um, he's actually normally a 22,000 prestige char uh, character and in the Reddit EU Pantheon. I was actually re reading about the Reddit Pantheons earlier. But I figure because I started my own, I should probably stick around with it. I never get one. And it looks like their last archer actually switched to being a Chiromancer as well. But that ain't gonna do you much good. And it's not gonna do me much good either. Get out of there. Two times damage. Is he not gonna join me? Yeah, he is. You have a right click. Damn.
targeting is destroying me. Because I target the wrong guy and then it focuses on him when I'm trying to fight someone else. Freeze, you're done. They've started to give up. I don't think it's time for that though. <laughs> There's a little cheap strategy that I've been enjoying. For fighting like melee champions. Stick on stick in behind one of the porters. Because if they come at you, well, they're looking at teleporting. Neither one of my freezes abilities are down. There we go. And they're having a one-on-one -on -one battle over there. Doesn't look like our guy stuck around. The round is over. Apparently they even have a team speak actually going on in the Reddit Pantheon. Probably not a bad idea to go and join every once in a while, but I wouldn't be able to do it while streaming, that's for sure. Oh shoot. Not a good idea. Are you gonna follow me? You don't have your shield up. But then again, you've got enough life that you don't even need it. You're not gonna get the health bonus? Shoot. Wasted that. Four, three. There we go. Now it's three versus the Pantheon. Got the two times bonus bonus here. Need to get it. Freeze, right click initiative, 4,485 damage. God, that makes me feel good. It's only the one person I, whose name I took note of there. I'm actually shaking from that energy drink. I think it's done though. No. Nope. Let's take a look here. Did all the votes go through? Pretty good. Meaning my clan should be empty for invites. And the other clans are getting full, but not there yet. There you are. The order should have the gallery mission up now. So not quite good enough though. You're both engineers and only take 200 to accelerate that to get it started for the next. A little left to do. 
don't know what modifiers are. And which guys do I have yet? One, two, two high levels that I can put towards something. There we go. That should be constructing now. I'll be assisting with 15 of that. Right, that's what we'll be doing. Bang. Luck and spirit, strength and valor. Valor, luck, luck and spirit, valor, luck. None. those for now. Sell the valuables. Don't need the holy texts. 285 prestige or 285 sparks of evolution will give me cryo trap. So now we're looking at switching Where is that? Switching crow beam, which I never used for cryo trap. Eight yard radius on the ground that makes the enemy slip and slide towards the center. Okay. Main issue that will probably be with that one. 30 second cooldown actually isn't that long now that I think about it. And what are we looking at in the Ascension Atlas now anyways? There's another Spirit Impulse damage right over there. would require me to get my to get there as well as the yeah going along that line wouldn't make any difference Could take an increase in luck come on where's the nearest impulse there's one it's another just down there only gives seven though There might be no more big chunks of impulse actually in the starting area. Okay. That spot might have been some. But I don't know. Save the team speak. Kicking ass and taking names. Traven. Draven Knox is obviously reference. I don't think Nika no, Nika Lee has one. The other two don't. You're throwing yourself right out in the middle of battle here. You're gonna pay for that. Once the area of effect wears off. And once I get my impulse back. There you go. That was not the smartest idea. Damage orb spawned. Who am I looking at? Yeah. Now while the damage orb is still up, you know, with as many of those as I can. The round is over. Double strike. 
three kills. The other players on their team... Shoot, I can't see which ones. Again! Stop teasing me. I mean, I'm sorry that I have to do that to you. Damage already spawned over on the other side. You two are okay over on that side. I hope. You're done. Again, 4,400 damage. We'll take everyone on the other side's names. The darkness. Oh. Hi there. I don't even have to get the bonus this round. Healing orb spawned. I don't really need him. The round is over. The other ones were. Rafael Nero. And you're blocking that. Nika Lee. Nope. There isn't me friends with us. I'll accept that. Considering I'll be inviting you to my pantheon anyways. How'd you guys get taken down with that much health already? Yep. Where's the last guy? I wanna try out Zed on you. Oh right, it's not yet that I can make it so that it causes them to be frozen. No, I don't wanna- oh! One switched. Nika Lee didn't go AFK like I thought she did. You jumped right in the middle of that, that was your mistake. Take it, our guy got the healing orb, but you're not allowed to get away. Oh, healing orb is there. The round is over. Yeah. Impulse is ugly when you get new players. Sorry, not new players, sorry. When you get new players. They weren't built for PvP, and that crow should not have jumped out like that to the center so many times. You get the distance, and you stay back. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you could rival Archer with distance once you get that plus 10. What's the gun? Order. 
There's no reason. Did I get anyone in my no. Okay, Draven. Noxus, I'll be inviting you. I'll be inviting the darkness. And being inviting Raphael. <sighs> Should have known there'd be so many. R A P H A E L Nero. Nope. Nope. None. Are either of these... No. Luck and strength. There's one. One more. I can start trying it out. Okay. Ninety-seven. The next thing to work on is getting to here to upgrade Crow Trap. Unfortunately, I can't bypass Horfrost. In the other direction, I'd have to get all of the Crystal Shield buffs. So I'll probably make my way around there, finish getting a few of the ones here, like Ice Mantle. Slalom? And that. And then get all the ice shield. Or all oh, crystal shield. Because crystal shield, I believe, replaces ice statue, which I use fairly often. And ice bound, I'm, the ice bound given by crystal shield, I don't think is. I don't think it will affect me too much. I will have to get the seventh though in order to make it so that Crow Trap actually freezes them. Inertia, that isn't. No, that's clever maneuver. I could just finish upgrading one of these. No. I'm gonna get this. The Uther slot. It's gonna be painful because there's a lot of blue in there. But that'll give me a good amount of luck. Because there's a lot of luck in this little area. Actually, it's kind of ne necessary to try out the strength and luck combo. Did anyone join the Pantheon? All of them did. actually see the available classes of and the donation amount of actually all the other members so Thorakatil actually donated 10,000 to the or to the Pantheon and I believe other than me who's donated the most obviously because it's mine I need to remind them as well about 
I should do the Pantheon management when I'm not streaming, but it's just because I'm waiting for the queue right now, and there's not too much to look at for the rest of today in the Ascension Atlas. And to mention, we've already actually completed five matches, I believe, in the an hour and 15 minutes that I've been streaming, which is pretty good for time. In the next stream, I do plan on going over the guide that I mentioned in the previous video, or the previous stream, a little bit more. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I had anyone join the stream this time, but it's a hit and miss. Wait a second. Any message? Huh. Any message that is sent with an apostrophe doesn't send. <laughs> That's terrible. I believe it's in the order. There we go. So yeah, mainly my order now is gathering materials and using those materials to actually build the buildings. Because until I get everyone really on board and ensure that everyone's going to be a continuous member, I'm not going to be able to advance this much on my own, especially with the buildings currently costing me roughly fifty to or thirty to fifty thousand each at first level. Okay, the members of my team this round. <laughs> Takeda. Looking at three crowds versus one crowd. Okay, this isn't looking good. I'm gonna try to sneak in the back and get our combat. He's gonna come around the corner here. He's doing quite heavy hitting on Takeda though. I'll change that. Whoa! Okay, this guy, these guys seem to be lower prestige than me. Sorry, I got distracted by a message set in the uh, Pantheon chat. Slade Wilson looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> that hurt all of us. There we go. My messages aren't sending now. Oh, come on, I need to hit you with the initial burst. There you go. They recognize to focus me now, too. I jumped up there. They're both going to come up there. Owl combat is back down. Shoot. See, we very successfully split them.
there's the bonus damage. But, I'm not even gonna get to use the bonus damage because he's gonna take me out. There we go. One more match after this and I'll probably be shutting down. I don't get how to send messages. so weird. Okay. Take down names. Slade Wilson, I know. Duh. Leah. Bright. Shield. Madias. Kalahar. And Owl. Combat, who isn't doing a bad job, but I get the feeling that Owl Combat is just low prestige. Right now we're looking at Owl Combat versus Takeda Oda. Owl Combat definitely has the range. I don't get... Oh. Oh no, that was the other... <laughs> Takeda Oda was our... Cryomancer. Shoot, what was I thinking? See, that's the problem, not being able to see names when you're looking at the kill cams. Need to get up there. Hit owl combat with burst damage. And quickly get up on the other side. You're gonna try to hit me with something. Yeah. Let me use it. No. I really want to say that stuns are frustrating, but I don't think I can when my entire class is almost based off of freezing. They're a very prevalent thing in this game though. Damn Takeda. It's a good idea getting here. Must be a difference in prestige in the two um, teams, though. There's a. Uh, okay, fair enough. You got away. <laughs> this looks so bad. There you go. Where's the kitten kitten? I'm not sure. Why are you saying hey? I live here. I get to say hey, don't I? Yes, but I live here. I'm in the house all the time. I'm gonna hit you with as much little damage as I can, but L combat's my main target now. But you might not even let me get away with that or get the health. Someone's gonna come up to see me. Owl combat's my main ta target. I want you. I want you so bad. We're done. 
No, 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 no. No! You did. <laughs> God, it's not a dick. He did a really good job of staying behind walls. Yeah, it was free. Figures. Oh, that was close. If there's a- oh no, there's health down here that will help. As well as I'll be able to support this battle from above at least. There we go. <laughs> By six inches. I'm oh, just. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. I need an option to turn that off. Your computer can't handle anything. Your computer can't handle anything. You can't handle that cuteness. I mean, look at the fucking cat. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Why aren't you looking at the cat? Because I'm busy. Look at that when she's doing that. So something happened there with my teammates, and while I was out facing L combat, they both died. Oh, they're dicks. Mm hmm. I think he recognizes that I'm targeting him too. Damage orb spawned. If I take this, we'll be able to take down Matthias. Yep. Now I have eight seconds left. Do what, die? No, on the two times damage. It's out now, but I do have the right. And now I'm out of mana. I'm not losing to you. There we go. The round is over. I'm gonna end it here for now. So thank you for dropping by. Don't forget to check the schedule on the Twitch account, which is updated every Sunday due to the flexibility of my work schedule. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks for dropping by.